Hi! In this video we're using Substance 3D Designer to create tire, tread and sidewall. Let's go over the key nodes and parameters we'll use first. The mirror node is a great node to add symmetry to shapes. It mirrors your shape along one or more axes. Mode is the main control for the mirror. You have the options to mirror along an axis or a corner. An RGBA merge node packs a separate grayscale input into each of the four channels. It's nice to make a flow map to use as vector map. The vector warp grayscale node is used for an advanced distortion effect. It is driven by a color vector map rather than a grayscale map. You can use a normal map or construct the map by combining channels with the RGBA merge node. Shape mapper seamlessly distorts and maps an input pattern along a circle or polygonal path. It's great for bending straight patterns into a circle. The pattern amount sets how often the pattern repeats along the path. This is the inner radius of the path. Width controls the thickness of the patterns along the path. The curve node is used for image tonality remapping with a custom curve profile. You can place points and adjust Bezier curves to remap the input. You have more control over the handle mode by using the buttons on top of the view. Let's build this basic tire thread and sidewall setup together. You can then use it as a starting point for more complex ones. Let's start with a shape node and reduce the size x to 0.95. We connect it to a tile random node for the base pattern of the tire thread. As pattern we choose pattern input. To select parts of the image, stretch it vertically and rotate it 90 degrees, we use the transformation to D node. Then we connect it to an inward node and forward it into the mirror node. By adjusting the mode and offset of the mirror node we have a lot of control to get different variations and can even use the offset to make it asymmetrical again. Now we connect it to a tile generator node and if you want to array the profile in x or y direction, we simply adjust the x and y amount. To control the deformation, let's use a vector warp grayscale node and lower the intensity to 0.6. This gives us the possibility to control the deformation based on a vector map. As vector map input, we take a RGBA merge node. The R input is for the horizontal deformation and the G input for the vertical one. We don't need horizontal deformation, so a uniform color node in grayscale mode with a value of 128 works fine. It's connected to the R input. For the G input, let's use the curve node. We'll build the custom profile by adding control points and adjusting the handles and position of them. With double click we add new control points. To control the handles we move them and for handle mode adjustments we use the corresponding buttons on top of the view. Further we use a blur HQ grayscale with an intensity of 1 to blur the profile slightly. To fade out the sides slightly we start with a gradient linear 2 and rotate it 90 degrees followed by a levels node. Let's click the values button and tweak the level in low to 0.05 and the level in mid slider to 0.4 for a nicer transition. Finally, we take a blend node with the multiply blending mode. For the sidewall, we begin with the tile random node and adjust the interstice amount to 0.1. We connect it to a transformation 2D node and scale it 400% in height to stretch it. Now we invert the color and use a mirror node to mirror it on the X axis. To get some thicker horizontal outer stripes, we take a shape node and adjust the size y to 0.95. Let's connect the mirror node to a blend node, use the shape node as foreground and switch the blending mode to divide. Now we connect it to a shape mapper to make it circular. This node is great because we have control over the width, rotation and even the repetition of the sidewall. As radius we choose a value of 0.8. Decrease the width to 0.2 and adjust the pattern amount to 1. Further we select the blend node. Hit spacebar and add another blend node to add some text. Let's use a text node and connect it to the foreground of the blend with the add blending mode. We now have great control by using the manipulators in the 2D view. 
For more control over the text when making a generator with this setup, we could expose the font size and position parameters. To get the non-square rectangle output, we use a transformation to denote and change the output size height to minus 3. Finally, if we want the perfect mask of it, we can use threshold nodes with a value of 0.4 at the end. These two graphs can now be exported and used in your rendering engine or inside Substance 3D Painter when texturing a tire. If you want to learn more, you can download and open the graphs shown in the video. Thanks for watching and we would love to hear your thoughts, ideas and suggestions for future quick tips. So let us know them in the comments. See you in the next quick tip episode.